Hey loves, how y'all doing? Hey, how you guys doing? I just got out of the shower, so now I want to put my styling shampoo um, for curls on my hair. But my hair used to be dry, so if y'all have any products that could maybe help to make them look and feel moist or feel wet good, just tell me and tell me in the link in the description below. Sorry. Anyways, I'm getting ready for the makeup. I either use this Nivea um, cream or Pro Conceal Primer, LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I don't like it that much because it's invisible, like the color is invisible, so I don't like to use it that much. But if I don't use that, then I use a primer from um, Action, but it's already finished, so I decided to use this one today. So we're just gonna rub it into the face. <laughs> I just don't like the color. Cause you know primer used to be white. So that is why I'm just used to a white primer, not invisible. And it's really small too. But it's cheap though. But I would recommend the action primer to y'all. If I find a picture, I'm gonna insert it. I'm drinking my tea. And yeah, I'm gonna use my Pro Conceal first and the shade foam and pro conceal is the shit i'm telling y'all like pro conceal is the og <laughs> og we're gonna put that under my eyes like always under my eyes and fill it in fill it in we also put it on the nose yeah put it on the nose under the eyes and we're just gonna leave that for some minutes before I actually used to blend it out right after I put it I mean apply it on my skin but now I leave it for some for some minutes because I've also seen it on Pinterest that it's better to leave it for some minutes so it can really enter your skin and yeah I'm kind of struggling with the, the window because like y'all can see those lines it's just disturbing the view and y'all won't see me clearly so just gonna let it slide let it so we're gonna use again pro conceal because it's pro pro in the shade espresso for my contour contour espresso like the coffee espresso anyways we're gonna put it on our cheek cheekbone not underneath like above but we like putting it under the concealer you understand like everyone has their cheekbone line so there's where we're gonna apply it on and same on the other side but above above and also up don't put it like don't put it near to the mouth area or nose area. Just put it up because you want it to be lifted. You want your face to be lifted, right? I mean, and then we put it also on our forehead, everywhere on the hairline, as y'all can see. I know nobody does that, but I do that. I just think it's it looks cute, but y'all gonna see the end result though. So I uh, do it like that, and yeah, just put it on my hairline. But before I always used to put it on my forehead so now I don't know I just like the way it connects from the cheekbone to the forehead drinking my tea again well I think it's water I don't even know bro but we're gonna use our Maybelline matte and poreless fit me foundation in the color 01 but I think that this is um, shade 350 because I got it from Nigeria so I'm always putting three drops underneath the contour always three drops or three like how do you call it dots and I also put it around the mouth area because the concealer doesn't cover the whole mouth area so I used to put it I used to mix it with the concealer a little if I put it on my mouth area and just let it blend all together and that's it but i think it's shade 355 we're gonna use our setting spray that i got from 
Nigeria 2 it's kiss beauty makeup fix spray I really don't know where you can get this but you can check online um, yeah it's long lasting hold I would say it functions but I don't know for real for real um, not that sure if I'm being honest but yeah now what are we gonna do we gonna blend that contour contour from JLD I already this is like from I think it's called I think the brand is called John John something I don't know John London or something like that but I got it from TK Maxx that's uh it's not a second-hand shop but it's like a shop where you get cheap things they are actually expensive so now we're blending the contour we always blend upwards but for the forehead area and the hairline area is actually it doesn't matter but like the cheek area it's always upwards you have to blend it upwards so you get the lifted look i mean that's that makes sense right that's logic so <laughs> now we put in concealer here too because I always apply much concealer concealer is the shit I love concealer and then I put three sprays of setting spray on my concealer brush I know it's already dirty so don't mind it but yeah I'm still gonna mind it right <laughs> so we're just gonna blend that concealer out <clears throat> I always blend it from inwards to outwards if you say like that yeah just in out in out in out in out yeah that's how i blend it but i don't understand people actually that blend it from out to inside but i mean everybody does it that way so that's that that's that that's that so like i said because of the contour it doesn't matter if blend it upwards or downwards in the forehead area or hairline area but like the cheekbone area is always upwards so as y'all can see my mouth is moving so three drops three sprays slash sprays and that's my foundation brush I don't know what I'm signing but that's my foundation brush and this is how I blend the foundation. I always blend my foundation. Don't try to cover the contour. Don't cover it. I don't cover it, but you can do it, actually. But to me, it doesn't make sense to cover it. Then why did I put it there? You understand? So I always make sure that I blend it like almost. Like I'm already almost covering my contour. But like I always just fill in there filling my cheek area because many people look at the cheek your side profile so it's actually really important for you to blend it or like let's say pat it out everywhere everywhere So after we've blended out the Pro Conceal, now we're gonna use my ELF Hydro Camo Concealer in the shade Medium, and I've got this concealer for almost one year, and I always use it to lighten my under eyes. I always only put it on my yeah, that's a block, like a block, only there, and then I pat it out, blend it out with a brush actually but this time I'm gonna do it with a blender um yeah in the shade medium eyes lips face is actually the full name for it but it's elf or elf I don't know I used to call it elf actually elf elf I only put it there and I also put it on my chin I don't know if I'm gonna do it here but <laughs> I actually always put it on my chin and also forehead so that it look good 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 as y'all can see I'm applying 
applying the lighter concealer, the e.l.f. concealer. Um, like I said before, I did it on my chin too. So, as y'all can notice, I think like in this 10 minutes, I've only been focusing on my under eyes and cheeks. Like, I've not even really done anything on my forehead. I'm using the Sacha Buttercup powder. And there is no color or anything, any shade, but you can see the color there already. So, you know, it's just a light color. So, I don't know if it's buttercup or anything, but I'm confused myself, but I got it from Nigeria, so. So, I don't know, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna use this sponge that I got from H&M. It was in sales, and I think you guys would like it. I don't know the name of it anymore, but if I find a picture or the link, I'm going to put it in the description below. And I'm going to apply my Sacha Buttercup powder on my under eyes. I always put it where you put your concealer. That's logic, so exactly. Now I'm going to put it in my mouth area, on my mouth area, under my under eyes, and I always put it under the contour area too to just make the contour look sharp exactly anyways As y'all can see, I'm using the same sponge and same powder to put it on my eyebrows. I always put it on my eyebrows, but it's optional. But since a few months, actually, I've been forgetting to put eyebrows on my, I mean, powder on my eyebrows. But it's really good. It's a really good trick if you want your eyebrows to really look good and you want to really give it that faded eyebrow look. I'm gonna use my brush to blend it out in circular motions. I forgot to say that. I also do the same when I'm blending it out on my under eyes. I always blend it out in circular motions or moves, how you call it. So, yeah, that's how I do it. As y'all can see, I'm gonna use my trended up powder in the color 065 yeah, 65 from DM. You can buy it online and just put it exactly where the contour is from down to up, from down to up. Exactly where the contour is, and I also put it on my chin actually. That's it.
as y'all can see I'm using the same pro conceal and the shade espresso to contour my nose I always put a thin line sometimes I put a thick line so and then I put like yeah uh, how do you call it a circle around my nose yeah and that's how I always do my nose contour I blend it out with my contour brush and then I'm giving it this button nose look after that I put highlighter and the highlighter really makes it so to have a highlighter is the game changer game changer I'm gonna use this Usha's master bronze palette and I only use one color actually only that color the first one that y'all see on the right that's what I always use guys I remember that I had to use a powder in my color black opal powder that's the goat the goat the goat in 02 light and the shade 02 light um I always use it after I use that such a buttercup powder that y'all saw as first powder so I'm struggling a little bit to open it but it'll be all right we'll be all right all right all right anyways My sister was actually disturbing me about something, so I had to talk to her because her friend was there, so something happened or something like that. So, um, we're also going to put the same powder under the contour, and yeah, that's going to be that, that's going to be that. Same powder. And also around the nose, I always like my nose contour to look real sharp to look real real dope so that's why I always put a lot of powder around the nose so it looks real good real sharp real small petite yeah like I said I always use the first color for my um, for my highlighting of my nose but Problem is I ain't got no highlighter brush again because I gave it to my cousin Nigeria, so <laughs> I don't know. That's that. I mean I always always <laughs> like when it's about the nose contour, I'm always serious, like real real serious. I don't play about nose contour because I was insecure about my nose a lot the past years so to accept my nose was hard for me I still struggle with it like that's something I'm still insecure of till today but you have to love yourself and you have to have love for yourself and if you love yourself then you all also love everything about you you don't have to only love the inside you have to love the outside because we only have one life and to regret it is to regret things is really hard for someone to accept. Like to regret things in the future. So that's why I actually contour my nose. But like going without a nose contour is really to me it's really ugly. For me. Like on my face, like if I'm without a nose contour, I don't like the makeup at all. Like nose contour has been so has become so important for me but love yourself that's all i'm gonna want to say and now i want to show y'all how smooth the makeup looks chef's kiss anyways love yourself that's the message that's the message i want to give y'all anyways by the way as i'm talking now i already removed some of my nails and it hurt so bad one even removed my nail and i'm like so pissed off because I love my nails and I want to paint my fingernails so I don't used to paint them a lot but I used to see it on TikTok a lot and I used to get jealous because I was like 
because I'm always like, oh, they painted so good. I also want to do that. Get me? So, as I don't know, <laughs> everybody does it. With a eyebrow pencil, you line your lips. And I got this from Nigeria, but you can get this from any, any drugstore. Or how y'all call it over here. You can get it from anywhere. Then when you use this Max Factories, Max Factor X lip cushion in the color 015. I got this from TK Maxx, so they usually have things like this just once. So you can look for the color like this, but I don't think you would find it except you look for it online. And I will use it to fill in the lips. This is my favorite lip combo, to be honest, y'all. But yeah, I don't know what I don't like lipstick. I love lip gloss. I love lip gloss so much like I just can't live without lip gloss lip gloss is the shit I don't know shan, 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 shan. <laughs> shan, shan, shan. <laughs> no bro the way I'm open my mouth <laughs> the way I'm open my mouth is real funny but I really love lip gloss it just suits me I just think lipstick makes me look older and i don't want to look older i want to look like my age anyways guys i'm gonna use this eyebrow pencil the same eyebrow pencil to do our eyebrows i mean what else what, what else do you want to use for your eyebrows anyways i'm actually in the kitchen as y'all can see because i'm actually cooking salmon and spaghetti i can put the link also in the description if y'all want to um cook something like that or something like that because i'm too nice so that's what i'm gonna put in the description it's really delicious i wouldn't say it's that fat but it's also not that healthy because of the cream anyways let's get back to makeup like the most girls do it you always line up and line down line up to where your eyebrow ends and this is me cooking salt bay <laughs> yeah you line up and you line down y'all understand me y'all get what i mean so i always do my beauty marks with this essence the dip eyeliner i always do it with it the dip eyeliner waterproof I love it I love beauty marks but actually those are my real marks like where I'm pointing now for example the two points I'm doing now those are my real marks I love them so much it suits my face so well and it just makes my lips look good I don't know why but <laughs> I don't know what it has to do with the lips but it just really look good with the lips and that's that guys till today i'm still struggling with eyebrows but one day god is gonna help me and then i'm gonna perfect them and do them the way i always wanted to do them because my eyebrows are even uneven they're even uneven so it's like it's kind of hard to do them the same shape but i still like i still i still make it i still make it the end i don't give up so i always fill them in and i always do this s shape i think y'all call it s shape eyebrow the one that ends like that or is it snake i don't know something like that i always fill it in and then i always do this faded look with the eyebrows actually i've tried to do eyebrows which end like which end by the hairline if y'all get what I mean by the hairline yeah but it's kind of hard cuz you know your eyebrows don't end there there's still more hair of your eyebrows so that's it I'm gonna try a new trick cuz I did this yesterday yeah that day I did it yesterday to do it with um, a tissue because I didn't have any pencil so it worked yesterday but today it didn't turn out good the trick 
so y'all can try the trick um yeah i don't know for no reason he gonna call it crazy but i now i'm complaining okay this is a new song that's trending on tiktok actually from bad baby oh my god how i used to celebrate that girl oh my i was a fan i knew all of her songs till today i still know all of her songs like word for word word for word that girl who i don't i don't hate her but like i don't like her music no more but that time when she was like 16 maybe i was 13 that time i don't know or maybe i was 14 i worshipped her oh my god oh my god but she's so pretty she's so pretty she's so so pretty i'm gonna admit that she been pretty she been pretty anyways now i'm still working on the eyebrows and just kind of fixing the base so that's that blowing up is fun i know i'm gym for the rings he got kind of crazy but i say i call it it okay anyways i'm here drinking my fanta anta fanta anta 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 fanta anta 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 fanta 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 y'all know a phone can't distract me i'm the queen a phone can't distract me i'm the queen oh i decided to do my eyebrows off camera because y'all know i still struggle i still really struggle so to do it on camera is a little whew, hard for me hard for me hard for me and now they look like a block of ice and <laughs> now i'm trying to fade them out the eyebrows that's what I mean with fade and I always do it with an uh, eyebrow pencil brush I ain't got no spoolie cuz I lost my spoolie but everything gonna be alright yeah all right? ready for transition I was trying to measure how I can do this but one two three <gasps> Sis, you look good, sis. I don't know what the fuck is in my mouth, but like, you look good, sis. Look at the, mm, the sun came down. That's why it looks like this. But like, it's still the same, guys. Y'all see how clean my base is? It's really clean. It's like so flawless. My base, I love it. For real, I really do love it. Yeah. What I was trying to say is that I put, um. Pro conceal on my hairline and my forehead as it I explained before but yeah that's that so now we're doing the same we were doing um, under my eyes putting foundation there concealer there and also powder and that's it that's actually it Y'all yeah, know, <sighs> let's not talk about eyeliner. I'm telling y'all, let's not talk about eyeliner. I actually don't like to put foundation or concealer or any cream product on my eyelid because it usually really affects my eye. Not my eye, but like my eyelashes. And they always turn, turn to the foundation or to the concealer I put there. You get me? So they always turn brown. Sorry word didn't come to my head they always sound brown and yeah these lashes i'm using them for the third time they're really good i got them from aliexpress i'm gonna put the link down below i bought them in style k06 so yeah and i want to put the both both of those concealers three sprays again but this time one spray it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm vibing, bro. Vibing like a witch. Anyways, yeah. Y'all see the lips, juicy, 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 juicy. Anyways, where did I stop? 
I don't know, but like, yeah, I don't like to put, I don't like to apply either foundation or concealer or any cream products on my eyelid because it usually affects my eyelashes. But y'all yeah, see how clean the base is. Now I'm putting, um, I'm applying the Pro Conceal. The elf concealer too. I don't know if I already put it, but yeah. I guess right. Now we're putting the elf concealer and we're blending it out. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm just chewing gum. Anyways, y'all just see how clean my base is. I mean, yes. Now I know what. <laughs> now I know what I want to talk about. Eyeliner. Yeah, guys, let's not talk about eyeliner, but um, yeah, let's talk about it. So, eyeliner is my weakness. Eyeliner and eyebrows, those are two things I gotta improve on. But I, what I really have to start doing is eyeshadow. Like, eyeshadow, I just hate eyeshadow. And I have, like, maybe four palettes at home. And I've never touched them. Never. And I got them at home since months. This is me applying powder on my eyebrows and the forehead area where I applied my concealer. But I got four palettes at home that I've never ever touched. And that's insane. My sister used to use them and she she's even better. She's better at eyeliner and eyeshadow than me. And I'm kind of getting jealous right now because I'm just getting jealous because, bro, I'm supposed to be better at it. But like, I don't just like eyeshadow if I'm being honest I like it on other people but like on me I don't know if it fits me I'm too lazy for it <laughs> okay let me just let me just admit I'm just too lazy for it <laughs> okay I'm too lazy for it but like those are three things that I gotta improve on so let's put them in order the first is mm, eyeshadow no, no, no. I'd say eyeliner. Eyeliner, eyeshadow, and eyebrows. Exactly. So here we're applying. We're applying the bronzer. And yeah, I was singing Wait For Me from Realist K. And my sister was like vibing with me because she liked the song too. I just think the song really gets you in your feels. It's about heartbreak. About that boy who broke your heart, who doesn't deserve you, who just dumped you and didn't see your worth, didn't see how beautiful you are. Man, screw that guy. Good. Fellas, ladies, screw that guy. Anyways, yeah, that's it. That's three things I gotta improve on eyeshadow, eyeliner, and eyebrows. But with God on my side, I'm gonna improve on those three three things because I really want to but eyeshadow I'm not really keen on improving on eyeshadow because I don't know I like my face without eyeshadow eyeshadow is a little you have to be creative I don't like to be creative I'm not really a creative person I do I do want to be creative but I'm just not but yeah the lash glue I'm using is Catrice, of course. I've been a Catrice fan, so I always use their lash glue. Because it's the cheapest, bro. I, I'm a baddie on a budget, bro. Because <laughs> I ain't going to spend 10 euros on, on, on lash glue when I could buy three pairs of concealer. Guys, I love concealer so much. I don't know why. I love applying it. I love everything about concealer. Concealer, 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 concealer. We've almost come to an end. And y'all see the base. Y'all see the base? Y'all see the face? Ha! Huh. Base, face, yes, nice. Okay. Let me stop rhyming. Anyways, y'all see the base, y'all see the face. That's 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 all y'all gotta see. Cause this is wow. Looking good. Looking good, mamas. Anyways, we're gonna the lashes, the lashes, the lashes. Okay, okay. Show off, show off, sis. I see you. Aw, the smile. You always hit those guys with your smile. Taste sick. 
But that jawline, we gotta fix that jawline though. We gotta fix that jawline. I can't wear it. Uh, I can't wait to wear a wig again. Cause this hair, I look like Kodak Black in it. In it. Anyways, let's leave you alone to fix your eyelashes. Thank you all for listening to my ugly voice. And my sister is also saying bye. Thank y'all. Y'all see her friend in the back. I'm going to give her a shout out in the description. But thank y'all for listening to my voice. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Love y'all. I'm still going to say it in the next clip. So guys, guys, I know this was a quiet video, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me. If you want to do this look, just get the products. They're really affordable and it's an update to makeup tutorial. I still got this nails on after almost two weeks, but the paint is already getting off as you can see. I really love these lashes, trying them out for the first time. If y'all have any hair products, put them in the link below, uh, in the description, because I don't know, my hair is always dried and gray after I put this styling balm that I put in the beginning. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm still gonna insert a little clip of me feeling myself, because with this one in my, but I love the look. It looks just like my skin tone. And yeah, it's, it's quite natural. Hope y'all enjoyed. I always put a highlighter here. Like I said in the voiceover, I was put highlighter on under my eyebrows. I hope you enjoyed. See ya.